Hello friends, today we're going to talk about this little cooler slash heater that I got at the thrift store for $9.99. Gourmia, I guess. It has electrical cord inside it kindly provided, which is good because this is a special type that I may not have in my collection, I'm not sure. Uh, really looks pretty much brand new looking at the back you see a few things here we have our choice of warm or cool this takes in 12 volt DC here and the power cord here uh, fan and air vent so I believe this is what's known as the uh, Peltier effect cooler which you can read up on Wikipedia but basically it's a special combination of materials that you can run electricity through and it gets cool on one side and warm on the other uh, so that's different from like the common refrigerator which is uses a, a complex system of compressors and um, other things to create cool or a heat pump which is sort of an air conditioner that you can either run one way to make cool and another way to make heat. So what I suspect is going on here is we have a way to switch the direction of the current probably run on 12 volts internally this probably just leads to a little power converter that creates 12 volts internally this is probably intended for some sort of you know portable use like boating or camping and that fits in with the 12 volts here now per the laws of thermodynamics you can't destroy heat you can only move it around and in the process you create more heat that's the way I look at it anyway so what we've got here is a fan that dissipates the heat if you're running this in cool mode, it's going to take heat out of the in contents and push it outside. And if you run it in the warm mode, I don't even know if the fan would run at all. It probably has some sort of regulator that just runs it in the opposite direction. Um, so we'll see about that. Now I haven't tried this out yet through my per my normal procedure. Just got it at the thrift store. And to try it out and see if it works. If it does, I may take it apart. If it doesn't, I will certainly take it apart. Stay tuned. So I plugged this into the wall, moved it to stop, meaning off. Um, we're going to move it to cool. Little fan starts up. Little LED is on. It's a good sign. See if I can notice any cool going on here. Maybe a little bit. That's kind of that's kind of a guess. I might be kind of imagining it, just because uh, sometimes a smooth surface like this can feel cool by soaking up the heat in your hand. So we'll close that up and come back to it after it goes for a while. Let this run for just a few minutes, maybe not enough to get cold yet, but I'm ready to do my very first experiment with it, even so, which is, I believe this is designed to hold at least two bottles or cans of beer. Okay, bottles don't fit. Not if I put it in sideways. Obviously that's not the plan, but it might work if you were really desperate. Check on this again. It's going to have to sit for a while longer. Here's the data tag on the back. Gourmia model 6MF600BL made in China in 4 of 19. 30 to 40 watts of cooling depending on whether you're doing AC or DC. I've let this run for about 25 minutes. Uh, I went and looked for a thermometer didn't find one that would work, but we're just going to do the field test. Yep, that's definitely cooler. So I would say this is working. Now, although you couldn't put a 
beer bottle in this you can fit a beer can or at least a coke can in it's interesting that it's so it's got extra space at the top but it looks like maybe at least two and possibly four coke cans could go in there so let that cook for a while and see how long it takes the coke to get cold here's something I noticed this is an intake fan here and this is an exhaust here at least in the cold mode it's noticeably warmer here room temperature here this may be kind of a just an extra vent hole there doesn't seem to be a lot of air moving through that but now that I say that they can see the heat sink on the on the heating slash cooling element there Let's see if the cans doing anything yep that's getting a little chilly the heat is concentrated at the back which makes sense here screws which probably attach to the heating slash cooling element the rest of this I bet is just passive insulation and container space so at this point my pop's been in there for about two hours see nice and cold I think that'll work we'll leave it overnight probably turn it off and see if it's back to room temperature well I let my chilled can of coke sit overnight and kind of as I suspected this didn't keep it cold while well turned off just from the insulation capability which you can see looks kind of minimal so that's not too surprising well I've got the can out I'm gonna test the warm setting so they conveniently provided a red bulb for warm we had green for cool just because Blue LEDs aren't common, but green ones are. We've got air blowing out the back with this fan. Airflow coming out here, but not on the bottom. So the airflow is coming out on the side more than the bottom. In fact, I'm going to check that again on the cool setting. Also seems to be in the same direction. So it appears that the fan operation doesn't change with the cool or warm setting. I thought it might reverse or something. So now we've been running on heat mode for an hour and a half. I see that this is kind of cycling on and off, so I assume it's reached its kind of maximum intended temperature. Slightly warm on the outside, and pretty warm on the inside, as in this is kind of at the area where it's, you can keep your fingers on it, but it gets uncomfortable after a while. So we'll call this a success. This was a good find for $9.99. I uh, can sure use it to keep some pop cold down here in the basement. Well, although this seems almost too good to take apart, uh, I'm going to do that. A lot of times I do that with the idea of it's okay to destroy it and, uh, you know, make use of the salvage parts. In this case, I'm going to try to be careful and not destroy it. We'll see if I'm successful at that. But if I'm not, then you know, I probably still had ten dollars worth of fun, and so we'll get all these unscrewed. There's six screws like this. Okay, we've got all six screws out. Let's lift the back off, hopefully, and that should be a fairly simple process if we're lucky. Okay, so. This is 
about like what I was expecting. Let's zoom in a little. See what's going on here piece by piece. This is just a little muffin fan. Up here we've got our Peltier cooler with three different wire colored wires going into it. Over here we have the little power supply. This looks to me like a switching power supply which is kind of what I expected for this. At this level switching power supply in the modern era is cheaper than a linear power supply for the same power requirements. So that's to be expected. You can see these two wires here on the bottom go directly into this power supply with some insulation for um, to make sure for safety we got 120 volts here we got this little board that contains the, the switches and LED, the switch and LEDs not unexpectedly got 12 volt input here which corresponds to here on the back side um, I suspect that the box is just literally that a box here are two screws on the cooling slash heating element. We saw four on the inside, so maybe there's another attachment plate. This actually looks like a, now that I think about it, looks like literally a heat sink, like an aluminum heat sink. So we can guess that the, in fact I can see it, you probably can't, but right inside here there's a little panel between the heat sink and the body that's the Peltier cooling element. Um, so what's going on here is it looks like we've got two screws that attach to the element uh, and then from the heat sink and then there's four on the inside that attach the element directly to the body of the little refrigerator box. So kind of, um, you know, if I were to want to improve this, you could imagine salvaging these parts really pretty much as is to make a maybe a smaller thing that could only cool one can or maybe a taller thing that could cool one beer bottle. But uh, probably if you were going to try to redo this in some way what I would do is come up with a better box with better insulation you can tell this whole thing is made for economy which is fair but uh, it's really got the makings of kind of something that's better here if you wanted to improve the performance of it basically by improving the box itself so we won't go to, into any more detail here, but uh, hopefully this tour has been sufficient. You know, again we have the heat sink with the Peltier element on the other side. Switching power supply to get us to 12 volts DC from 120. We've got this little switchboard and we've got the little muffin fan. So that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. So please consider liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching and bye bye.